Today I'm putting this uh, halal lamb leg that I had gotten from uh, Aldi some time ago. Uh, I got it uh, and had it in the freezer. And now it, it is seasoned, but I'm gonna add seasoning again to make sure it's well seasoned. I'm adding some more garlic, some jalapeno, some more rosemary, and I wanted some ground uh, cumin, but I couldn't find any ground cumin in my cabinet. I might have to look again, because I prefer the cumin over the fennel for this. I don't particularly want to put the fennel. So I was considering maybe putting tandoori masala, but I haven't decided on that yet. So I'm gonna start by opening the packet and putting it in this container. Um, the kids are here uh, from school. Okay. Mm, it smells kind of good. The seasonings that are in it are, it already has some rosemary and some garlic. But I'm gonna add some fresh seasoning too, some more garlic and uh, it has tomato powder. So I'm gonna make uh, it a little bit more seasoned, that's all. Just gonna chop it like this. So <clears throat> I watched a show on Netflix. Um, I finished Blacklist and boy did was that ending unexpected. <laughs> I'm not going to give it away because, oh boy, the ending is shocking. Goodness gracious, it was a shock, the end. Anyway, um, the, the thing I wanted um, to do, uh, oh, I also watched Echo. Echo, um, it's, a, it's a limited series. So it wasn't that long. It didn't have seasons. It just had a, like a few episodes, maybe eight or ten episodes or something like that. <clears throat> and it was also shocking and full of twists. It's about twin sisters, identical twin sisters. <laughs> so um, I don't want to give that away too much either, but the end is shocking in the middle and all the drama was full of mysteries and twists and turns and uh, surprises. Um, now I'm watching, no, and then after that, after the, after Echo, I watched uh, Mo, it's funny and sad. At the same time, it made me laugh and cry. It, it's also, has. it's just one season on Netflix. It's comedy and tragedy all mixed up, like a tragic comedy. Uh, beautiful and sad. Mm. Mo. Just M.O. on Netflix. It's very American to me. That show is so American. And but it uh it highlights the Palestinian American American experience plus uh, also Spanish and uh and everyone. Everyone is in, in it. And it's so cool. It's so American. Um, but more if you want to laugh and cry. <laughs> um, now I'm watching Dead Wind. It's a Finnish movie show. I mean, it has several seasons. Um, so that would take me a while to watch. Okay. 
I'm going to put the jalapeno in. I'm going to rub it in kind of too. But for now, I'm going to just toss it in like this. Okay. All right. Now, chop up the garlic. I'm going to let the, the leg of lamb stay out on the counter for uh, until I'm ready to roast it. And I think it gets roasted at a fairly low temperature. I was reading recipes on Pinterest and I'll, I'll go back and check with those recipes again. We had funny cat stories lately. <laughs> little bitty Luna and, and little bitty S'more. <laughs> They're full of affection and bouncy playfulness. Theodore is always my favorite. He's my personal favorite because he, he helped me recover from COVID pneumonia. He kept me company when I was ill. He used to snuggle with me and sleep with me when I had an oxygen tube in my nose. When everybody else was at work and at school, Theodore was my companion. The other kitties are sweet, but, um, and they love me too. They will nap with me. They will, but I prefer Theodore to nap with me because <laughs> I bonded with him during a very stressful time. That's the last garlic I had in the house. I have to go shopping tomorrow. Yep, that's it. This is what we do. This is what I'm doing. Rubbing it in. Rub it in a little. Mm. Okay, I wanted ground cumin, but I might not have bought any. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. I have whole cumin seeds, but I, I don't want seeds for for a um, marinade. Okay, so now I'm putting more rosemary. Rosemary goes with lamb. And I'm not going to add black pepper because I added jalapenos. Now, I'm just going to rub that in again. Rub it in. And then I'm going to let it sit like this. It already has lemon zest in it. I'm 
my lemons I have are, are not fresh anymore. I would have used some more lemon, but I, I just, mine is not fresh anymore. So I'm gonna leave it with that. Okay, I had a tall helper come and help me lure, and, and he did pull the ground cumin out of the cabinet, thankfully. So that goes into the rub as well. So I'm gonna rub the rosemary and cumin together is complimentary. Oh, now the other side, bring some up to the other side. There, and into the cracks, into the cracks everywhere. Good thing my table is clean because I can use the bits that fall too. So I'm putting it in the crevices so they all get well seasoned. Yep, that all in there. And see, did I get all of it? Here's a little bit more falling off. There. Now, that looks fab. Fabulous. Okay. Hmm, that smells good with the cumin and the rosemary. All of it. The smell is amazing. Wow. And I'm going to drizzle it with a little olive oil. This is good Palestinian olive oil from Palestinian Olive Orchards. I uh, buy it from the store of Palestinian immigrants. Okay, this uh, lamb, butterfly leg of lamb has been marinating all night and now it's ready for the oven. I pulled it out of the refrigerator at about 11 so it can be room temperature when I put it in the oven. It's going in. It's well marinated now. I put it in this round container uh, pot with a lid. So I, I want the lid on for a while and cook it slow. All right, I already sliced the cauliflower thin and I'm gonna boil it while I peel the potatoes. Here's my five pounds of peeled potatoes. I'm gonna go rinse them off and pour them in the pot with the, with the uh, cauliflower that's already cooking. There it is, all done and ready to eat. Yum, I know it tastes delicious. The potatoes are creamy and the uh, lamb is falling apart, tender, fall apart tender. Mm. It tastes like rosemary and seasonings I put on and there's my steamed broccoli.